What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel City Boy Farming. In this video, we're planting barascas. And the best part about planting barascas, you can kind of start these in uh, early spring and you can start this in the late summer because they, they cool crops, that's good. But the thing about this is you when they get too much sun, they start to wilt. So that might, that's why I like to best start these indoors as quickly as possible. I grab one out and can see these my cabbages right here. And they all start off looking the same. So I'm gonna let, actually, you can see it's dried up. So I'm gonna let this sit in the water that's on here. And I got my cauliflower, same thing right there. But they all look the same almost. This one has about, yep, they all got three. So I'm gonna just plant these, get these started, hurry up because, you know, dealing with Michigan weather, we can just see sometimes there it can be a good day then it could be a cool day so that's why i'm starting these off right now april is probably the best way best way to start off i would say early late march early april is the best way to get these going so i'm gonna start planting these in like some buckets and i believe this is roughly around five gallons if not more five or seven gallons doesn't really say but i got these from a company that just do flowers around the city of Detroit and they was like, yeah, we don't want these, you can take us. Okay. You just chilling there, dude. <laughs> but yeah, so some start these off, do the usual, put some good soil in here, turn it. Well not turn it. <laughs> Mix it up, put some good feeder in. I might put some garden tone in there. Depending on how it is. But yeah, let's get started. Okay, I'm done. Got all the dirt in there where I wanted. I had it sitting in the sun so the dirt can get warm. It was in the car a little bit, it was a little cool, but I let it warm up, feel pretty good. I also want to show y'all, and know uh, probably gonna be an update later on. But you can see my garlic coming in. Got some more garlics coming out. I'm excited. And then on the other side are my onions. Look how great my onions are doing. Then you got some little sprouts somewhere. I don't know. So excited. But I want to plant these properly, so I'll make sure I did all the color coding <laughs> the way I thought I could. So I'm going to have this right here be Brussels sprouts. Because this is going to be my first time doing Brussels sprouts in a pot. I'm going to have my cauliflower, my bino broccoli, I should say, on this end as well. So this is gonna be the tan side. We got two blacks and one tan for the Brussels sprout and all black for the cabbages. And I did cabbages and cauliflower in a pot before. Never did Brussels sprout, so first time for everything. I'm excited for that. Now before I put this in, I wanna mix, I wanna make a nice size hole once I do this and then add some garden tone in there. And then I'm gonna plant these in there and have them the way I like them. Then we can, then I'm gonna have like a little update on this, showing you exactly what it should look like. So again, like I said, these barascas, I love them. I love collars, cabbages, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, all that good leafy green stuff, kale, good for you. And I love it because you can grow it in the cooler weathers, which is exciting. I'm gonna say this, because I feel like when people do uh, videos on potting plants or starting off with starter plants, they don't tell you how deep they should be. I'm doing a good four inch, especially when you see a little weak stem sometimes, you wanna at least under that. Get the soil above that, I mean, above that right here. Above this little purple, purple stem. So I did four inches, you can see it might be a little bit above, but that's okay, it's perfectly fine. That's where we wanted it. And then you want to put some, or whatever your feeder that you're using. I want to start off light because these are, you know, transplanted plants. So you can give these roots a little tug. It's there. You don't have to mess them with them that much. Just loosen them up, get them in there, and then put your feeder in there. And then cover it up, put some more feeder on top. And then water it, and it should drain all the way down. 
And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, we'll give y'all, like I said, I will give you an update. But I just wanted to explain this deep, the depth of it, how deep it should be. And that's very important. Boom, got them all in, just in time, too. And they all looking good. I think they're enjoying the sunlight. It's like they got even healthier since I put them in here. Look at that. <laughs> that's pretty good. So I'm just gonna give it a nice water down. And check on in a couple weeks. See how tall we got. That's pretty much it. Mm -hmm.